Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm talking about the final episode of season three, episode 24, The Venture, where John is prepared to expand the lumber mill to Walton and Sons um, and overdoes it and ends up threatening his health and the family's future. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. This episode was directed by Ralph Waite and written by Joseph Bonaducci, who is the father of actor Danny Bonaducci from the Partridge family. Early in the episode, uh, we're in the kitchen and uh, we're eating vegetable soup. Speaking of the kitchen, uh, in this case, grandma is pulling fresh baked bread out of the oven. Now, the oven would not have been hot and the bread would not have been hot, uh, but she has to treat it as if it is. So she uses um, mitts uh, or pads for her hand to remove it. And we just all are given the impression that this is warm, freshly baked bread. And we got to have bread a lot of times with our meals and it was always really good. Early on, three important things are happening for the family. John Boy is applying for a job as a reporter with a newspaper. John is trying to get a big contract uh, to build and expand their lumber operation. And Jason is applying for a scholarship to the Kleinberg Conservatory of Music. Grandpa is sick. He has been overworking. John and Grandpa have been working really hard to finish building the new mill space. John has bought new equipment from someone who was going out of business and has a big loan at the bank now. So they're feeling the pressure to get the mill up and operational so that they can make the payments on this loan. Grandma's worried that grandpa has potentially influenza. So she is shooing him off to his room to rest and stay away from the rest of the family so he doesn't infect anyone else. When we see Jason at Kleinberg Conservatory, he has auditioned for his scholarship. And there's another young lady who has also um, auditioned. So it's up to the, it's down to the two of them for who gets the scholarship. Point of interest, this actress was Celia Bonaducci, the daughter of the writer of this episode, Joseph Bonaducci, and the sister of actor Danny Bonaducci. It appears that everything is going great for the family. John Boy gets the job, Jason gets the scholarship, and John gets the contract. So the family celebrates. Because Grandpa is not available to help and John Boy's uh, at university and working and Jason is in classes and the children are in classes, John is doing a lot of the work by himself. Uh, we see him up uh, working on the roof and the, the tall framing and you can see clearly that this is Ralph up there. Um, weather comes in, a storm approaches and, and John continues to work despite the fact that Olivia says he's exhausted and he should rest. Uh, but he's like, no, I have to get this done. So he is out in the rain working. One night Olivia wakes up and John's not there and she looks outside. She goes outside and she finds that he has indeed collapsed by the mill. Next we see of John, he's in the hospital in an oxygen tent. Um, Olivia refuses to leave his side, of course. Um, and when he finally does wake up, I love this little exchange where he knows she's there. He's not up to speaking. He's still exhausted, but he winks at her. All of the family is feeling the pressure of this loan that's hanging over our heads and that we could lose the house. Um, John Boy says he could get a job. Jason says he could get a job. Um, basically, they're told, no, no, you need to continue what you're doing. Olivia says she's going to apply for a job. So in this case, she does go to an employment agency where she soon is di discouraged to learn that she really doesn't have any skills that are hireable. A few lighter hearted moments in the episode. I love this bit where Jim Bob is practicing his quick draw skills, but <laughs> not very effectively. Uh, he is using a stick and a wrench. And then we see that Ben is uh, standing by with Blue as his Indian chief. Um, so fun to see them playing. And a little later in the episode, Jim Bob and Elizabeth are standing on the coffee table reenacting a scene from <laughs> Ike and Corbeth at the store. Uh, so some fun moments in the family. 
At the hospital, John tells Olivia to have John Boy sell all of this new mill equipment, that they are going to lose the contract, that they need to repay the bank loan, and it just isn't the time. He's feeling very discouraged when Olivia comes home. To relay that message, the whole family feels the weight of that decision and that they've all failed in this attempt to expand the business. But they start turning it around and, and they're determined that no, they're not going to let this happen, that they can get this mill finished, that they can get going on this. And so everybody decides that they're going to go to work and they're all going to pull together. So there's a wonderful scene around the new mill where the camera follows uh, people up and down and around and you see Olivia up a ladder and then she comes down and then you see the boys working and then you see Aaron and then you see Grandpa and John boy and then a little later Mary Ellen comes through. So it's just a very um, busy scene where the camera following all of the industrious work that the family's doing. They're bickering and they're not necessarily getting the work done, but they sure are in there pitching. We're back at the hospital then. Um, this would have been shot, I believe, on stage 20. Our usual shooting stage was stage 26, but they often would use a second sound stage when they had these sorts of interiors to film. So in this case, they would have created this hospital room where John and his, his uh, roommate <laughs> uh, were both in the hospital. Um, so all those scenes would have shot, been shot over on this other sound stage. Um, in this case, John Boy comes by to see Daddy and basically tells him that he has decided to leave school for a year. He has a commitment from the paper that he can be a full-time reporter and he will make more money. He will travel around and, and write stories. It'll be practical experience. They argue about it. John's absolutely not. You're staying in school. If you leave now... Who knows, if you'll ever get back, you could lose your scholarship. So they have a pretty heated argument. Um, early in the argument, Ike enters the hospital room to see John Boy. So he overhears much of this argument. John comes back home feeling defeated by his, what's happened and having been ill and losing the contract. And um, But all of a sudden, we see cars start to arrive. And it is men from the community, led by Ike, who has rounded up the guys to help finish the mill so that uh, Walton and Sons Lumberyard can indeed start up. So a real lovely sense of community spirit. And I think only fitting. It was the end of a season. Um, we have spent three seasons getting to know the family and more of the community and had a real sense of what John's presence in the community meant. And so it is not surprising that others in the community wanted to step up and help him and help the family. At the end, the mill is finished. And we know that as we go into season four, there will be wonderful new opportunities for Walton and Sons lumber and also new adventures for all of the Walton family. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons as we finish up season three, The Venture. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons, more Ask Judy, and more of my interviews with cast. Thanks for watching.